Oh no, you're crying already. <laughs> you look beautiful. With my ugly crying face? Yeah. <laughs> when did you start crying? When I started walking back to the thing. We spread too far, huh? <laughs> yeah. Like it? I do like it. Mm -hmm. Hannah, I have waited for this day for what has seemed to be ages. From counting by friends' weddings or by books of the Bible, I've tried every way to make the time go by faster. My coworkers who don't know you would sometimes ask if I was sure if I was ready for marriage. Little did they know that I knew the days, hours, and minutes left until I'd be standing across from the love of my life on the day that we've waited for for so long. I remember a few months ago when we finally got to 90 days, a few days ago when we finally got to 90 hours, and if all's on schedule, a few minutes ago when I saw these doors open and we hit 90 minutes before our ceremony is set to begin. In each moment, I've been prayerfully waiting to become one with what has been God's biggest blessing in my life. I am always self-conscious and frequently struggle with self-esteem, and you have been an encourager, a source of confidence, and someone I brag about daily. Drew, I can't believe that today is finally here. I don't think I ever could have predicted what you my husband would look like, would be like, because you're honestly better than anything I ever dreamed of. I didn't know someone could be so sweet, kind, patient, servant-hearted, funny, love the Lord like you do, or show me how much they love me as well as you do. From our walk in the park that turned into four hours of easily flowing conversation, and the picture you sent of your calendar with our next date on it, that was a good move, you definitely had me crushing on you. To all the times, You've held me when I cried, even if I was just hungry. <laughs> I've only grown more and more in love with you every day. Remember that day when you were married. Remember all those emotions, all those feelings, all the things that were going on in your heart and in your mind, whether it was maybe two weeks ago, David, or maybe <laughs> a couple of months ago, or maybe for many it was decades and decades ago. Hold the hand of your spouse during this ceremony and remember what that day was like. Hannah uses sweet words and empathy to reach the hearts of the hurting, and Drew uses kindness and humor to bring a lightness into heavy conversations. They are both peacemakers, and any space they are in is a safe place of warmth and love. It's beautiful. Madison says this, Hannah is boldly devoted and compassionate in her calling, but still very gracious and mild in nature. I've seen Drew give Hannah the safety and security to be confident where she pursues the passions God has given her.
just wanted to let you know